When people think of concrete, they think of sidewalks or patios, not canoes. The American Society of Civil Engineers is an organization run by students who take pride in civil engineering and benefiting the community. Let's check out how they use concrete. Concrete canoe competitions began in the 1960s as a way to provide civil engineering students an opportunity to gain hands-on practical experience and leadership skills by working with concrete mixed designs and project management. Organized by the American Society of Civil Engineers, the annual National Concrete Canoe Competition invited universities from all over the country to compete in the race. At the national level, we have around 144,000 members, but here at Rutgers, we have, have around 100 members. We may have a guest speaker, we may have a field trip to uh, a construction site, and I oversee the Concrete Canoe Steel Bridge, and this year we're looking into having a career fair, and we're also going to launch a new website coming up in the next couple weeks. The building process of the Concrete Canoe started in November of 2009 with a group of 30 students and faculty working very hard on the multi-step process of building the canoe. After a 28 day drying period, the canoe weighed in at 360 pounds and was ready to take on the water. An assortment of glass beads and glass bubbles were added to the concrete mixture to make the concrete lighter and less dense and able to float in the water. And then there's also the team steel bridge and concrete canoe that lets you get your hands on projects that you wouldn't do until you got out into the working world. After months of hard work, practice, and research, the American Society of Civil Engineers recently took first place in the Metropolitan Regional Competition and placed 17th overall in the National Concrete Canoe Competition in California. For those interested in joining the Rutgers ASCE chapter, visit asce.rutgers.edu. For RUTV, I'm Tiffany Hill.